Off here, everyone. Um, this is episode 30. I'm filming this seven days from episode 30. I've just come to, to edit that episode and turns out that what I thought I had on the system for, for day 30 doesn't exist because I hadn't clicked record that entire day. So God knows who I was talking to, God knows what I was saying, but I thought I would give you an update in, in real time. So on day 30, I weighed in at 191, which was a pound and a half down from the day before, moving average, moving nicely. I know that in tomorrow's episode, I'm going to go through the entire month. So tomorrow will be episode 31, 31 days in January. I'll be able to show you the entire highlight uh, of January. So including, you know, all weights, all averages. And what I mean by current daily weight and moving average so I'm very focused on moving average, um, and I'll explain that in tomorrow's video. But what I wanted to kind of do is just come on here and give you something in today's video that wasn't me sort of just making an excuse as to why my camera hadn't worked or why I'm so thick that I couldn't get my camera to work. Um, so I just wanted to talk about lockdown, really. Now, we're all in a very similar boat at the moment in that everyone, and I don't, and I, I don't care in what way, but everybody is affected by this in some way or another. And I spoke to a few different people through my check-ins with my clients this week, and, and actually just people who I know that I, I don't train. Um, and we were talking about what has changed as a result of lockdown and what it is having an impact on. And we were talking about you know training and motivation and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And the one thing that keeps cropping up is that we're having to adapt. So I speak, I speak to parents who have had to adapt to become teachers. I speak to avid gym goers that have all of a sudden had to adapt to become their own personal trainers in certain respect. Um, people who have routine have had to adapt to living a more spontaneous life because timetables don't seem to happen at the moment and when they do they never stay to, to, the, to the, the scale that we're supposed to have them on. So people are learning to be completely different people and I find that actually it correlates really quite well when it comes to, to training and goal orientated um, things like, like I'm doing right now. That you have to be willing to adapt. Have your plan, of course have your plan and for me that's a six month prep up to a photo shoot competition whatever. That is continual body fat reduction, good muscular structure, um, calorie counting, you name it. Everything that has a fixed term to it, that's my plan. However, today, so seven episodes into the future, I can't get access to, to the training facility that I, that I train out of. So I could kick the bucket and sort of say, well, I'll have to bin that off, I'll have to move on. Or do I adapt? Do I change the days in which I'm, I'm, I'm training? Do I change how I'm training? So for my adaptation today, I'm, I'm turning today into a cardiovascular day. Hopefully in the two days that I've got to follow for the rest of this week, I can get that lower body session in and I'll adapt. I, I just looked in the fridge. I'm short on, on certain items that I thought I had in the fridge. So I have to adapt to my meals. Don't get me wrong. I'm absolutely nailing uh, Oreo ice cream, uh, Oreo ice cream, Oreo uh, cereal at the moment. And it's great, but you know your timetable might be changing. We might have lockdown for the next three months. We don't know. Does that mean we stop? No, because if we stop, we waste the time altogether. And wasting time altogether is a really, really stupid idea right now. Um, does it mean we have to be perfect? God, no. But we have to adapt around it. And I think, like I'm doing right now, coming on camera, talking random shite, I'm adapting to a mistake on the camera. I have to deliver something for you guys every day. I said that I was gonna do that, I said that I was gonna do that from the start. So this is my adaptation. Look at your life right now. Look at the things that are between you and the goal and, and, and where you wanna be in, in two months time, three months time, four months time, a year's time. And then start to come up with plan B, C, D, E, F. Because chances are plan A is never gonna work. And if it does work, you probably didn't aim high enough. Um, we can play safe. We can play safe with everything. You know, if I if I stop eating pizza and and, and drinking beer, um, I'm going to lose weight. That's a very simple task to do. 
what I've tasked myself to do is get into competitive shape. It's slightly different. Um, so if plan A usually pans out, 90% of the time it's because you've aimed so too low. Um, if you aim to, to the point where things are going to be challenged, then chances are you're going to need extra plans. So always try and have a B, C, D, E, F, however many you've got. And don't be afraid to, to put them into practice. You know, on certain days, create a meal. On certain days, be creative with training. On certain days, decide that you're going to enjoy more family time than you are training time. But make sure that you've got other plans to put that into place uh, to get it back in. So, yeah, lockdown is a shitter. It's a real shitter. But if we can adapt and learn to be things that we're not, we can put that into into later life. And, and, and that is really, really stupid important. So uh, that's my two pence for the day. Hopefully this episode isn't stupid boring. Um, we're back tomorrow with the overview. The overview I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with. Um, so I'll edit that up now while I'm here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to apologise. I suck on camera. And I'm still learning every day. And I'm still adapting to becoming my own videographer. Um, if anybody from MTV is listening, uh, I would quite like a camera crew to follow me around. This would be so much easier for me. And if editors out there think, you know what, he's got a point. Let's, let's, let's back him. You can do my editing for me. Um, but I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody is enjoying these, these diaries. Tomorrow is the overview of the entire month. That will be really cool. I will have officially completed a month's worth of posting, which is so, so new to me. Like, so new to me. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, super, I'm super stoked about it. But thank you so much for watching. And if you're still watching 6 minutes 52 into a video of me just talking at you, you are a brave human and deserve medals. Um, but thank you for watching. Thank you for continuing to support these. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for taking part, dropping comments, putting likes and things. I never expected any of that. So, uh, yeah, really cool. Thank you so much. And uh, I will catch you on tomorrow's episode because I definitely press record.